What about in, in China? Because President Xi, I, I remember when, when uh, the Chinese leader and his wife went to Florida to see President Trump, and, and President Trump made a very big uh, you know, display of welcoming uh, President Xi's wife, a, an honoured guest, because she's obviously a very, very well-known and respected musician. Yeah, I mean, in China, it's been interesting because um, Peng Yuan has been, you know, she's such a, cu a cultural, a modern icon in many Chinese people's eyes. You know, it's the first um, first lady that we've ever had who uh, is, you know, beautiful, fashionable, you know, out there. Um, but at the same time, she is espousing very traditional roles as well. I mean, fashion, that's a traditionally a very feminine trait and loyalty. I mean, she's, although she's out there, she's out there supporting her husband. Been, you know, she's not, she's definitely not a Hillary Clinton. Um, and in fact, I was in Shanghai right after the American election, um, and I got to talk to a lot of people on the street, and it was very much a, you know, very conservative um, feeling on the street, and they were, people were very happy that Trump won because he's a man. In fact, one, one guy I, ta I talked to, he said that, um, of course he would win, you know, he's a man, you know, we can't have a woman in office. What's next, a hamster? You know, so that's the kind of, unfortunately, the the um, Asian uh, mentality a little bit here in this part of the world. However, I think that is changing. We've seen Taiwan, we've seen Hong Kong, and I, I know that a lot of the younger generation um, of Chinese women actually really like Ivanka Trump, and it's part of the reason is because they think that she's got a good balance between her career and her family life. And, and what about the, the way that women are covered in particular? I mean, globally, it sort of applies to everyone, doesn't it, from Melania Trump onwards. Uh, so much of it is about what they're wearing, what clothes, what shoes, what hair. Do you think that's ever going to change? Exactly. I mean, I think, I think that is just so sad that women, even in the Theresa May article, uh, interview, I mean, there's so many shots of her shoes, you know, <laughs> and I think uh, in Asia especially, you know, women are expected to look good and also um, take care of the kids and do all these roles. And more and more, I think, though, that a lot of women want to um, have female role models to look up to who are working. Um, so we'll see a shift. But, I mean, traditionally, and this goes all the way back to Chinese history in terms of the the Empress Dowager, um, women who uh, so quote unquote you know overstepped or took on more power than they should have, um, were characterized in history as being just really evil, really aggressive. Well, very interesting, of course, to see Philip May, first male spouse here, of course. Thank you very much, indeed, Kelly Yang, for your time there in Hong Kong. We are back in a few minutes. Stay with us. I'm on Twitter at Keith Gormley.